you know, I've watched your development as, as a basketball player just simply from one year to the next. Give me your thoughts on how you've developed in your low post and your scoring abilities this year. Um, honestly, it's just confidence. I got confidence this year because the coaches really believe in me and they just told me to go out there and play basketball. And I feel like it's really translated on the court and I've really developed as like an offensive threat this year. So, You know, I've, I've often wanted to ask you this because you come from a high school program that was predominantly shooting from the outside and we love to shoot the threes in Newcastle. Yeah. And I'm sure you didn't get as many touches. You ever kind of thought about what might have changed a little bit if, if they would have fed you the ball a little bit more and maybe what, how you would have developed earlier? Yeah, well, in high school, I was mainly just defense. That's all they really harped on me for. And, I mean, we probably would have been better if we got more touches, but we were just a shooting team, and that's what we were good at. So that's what we stuck with. <laughs> yeah. how, is, um, how have you adjusted just with all the changes and everything and getting used to the system and, and you guys are pressing more and trying to turn defense and offense? Um, I think we're actually like transitioning well with it because we're really aggressive so the press works for us and that really translates into our offense because we weren't really getting many points at the beginning of the season so if we get, pick up our defense it really our points will go up eventually so yeah. Uh, that was certainly the case in your last two games just from your standpoint you win two games in a row and then you, you guys are right back in, in a possibility for a playoff chase that's got to feel great. Yeah, it's really nice to have like our whole team is confident now and we're excited and we really think we have a, a good chance to make that change, I guess, and have a winning opportunity. So, well, What is it going to take now? And, and, and there is, there's a fine line between, you know, we think we can make the playoffs and feeling too much pressure to, you know, we can't make mistakes and such. And so you got to kind of get that mindset that that confidence level you keep is going to stay there, but don't get too overconfident. How do you guys stay at an even keel now? Um, if we just stay aggressive, honestly, I feel like that's where we get our confidence from because once we get def defensive stops, we, we just kind of score off of that. So if we keep that going, we'll have the confidence and we won't really have to worry about much. You know, coaches only talk, really talk about one game at a time, and but but I've got to talk about your next two because those are the next two in front of you. Talk about Wednesday. You go on the road for both of these, and you heard me talk a little bit ago. They're both very winnable basketball games. Talk about Wednesday and what that game means for you guys. Um, well, we lost to Bluffton the first time, so we really want to come out strong and show them that we're a different team than we were at the beginning of the season and that we're capable of beating them. So and then we'll move on to Anderson. Yeah. Well, in, in, in as you say, just take the one game at a time, but you go on the road down there this time, and so going there is not always easy. No, but we found out at Defiance that it really doesn't matter if you come out strong, you can just put them down quickly and then just keep building off of that.